The rotator cuff, man, in the past I was always dealing with injuries with both of my shoulders. Uh, it's so damn annoying. And apparently a lot of you all are in the same boat, getting injuries in the shoulder on the reg. I say this because the highest viewed video on this channel as of today, uh, with over 100,000 views, is actually on this topic. I filmed this video like five years ago, uh, and this video is going to be served as part two to said video, seeing that, um, I wouldn't necessarily suggest the exercise I was doing in that video now that I'm a little bit more of an expert on the topic than I was back then. Okay, so I'm gonna try to have this video be short and to the point. If you want a much more in-depth look at the anatomy of the shoulder and everything you need to know to prehab and bulletproof them, I'll link another longer video at the end uh, going over all that type of stuff. First, if you're new here, stake your claim on the most informative and entertaining content fitness content, I should say, uh, on the tubes by subscribing. Subscribe for glory. Hit the bell button for extra glory so you don't miss anything. I don't know why I get all animated when I, <laughs> whatever. Uh, if you don't subscribe, well, you know, that's okay. You're just going to be permanently on my shit list. So if you don't want some random internet person who has no idea who you are, what you look like, or what your intentions are, to hate you, uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so we can be internet friends, okay? I'll give you three exercises to bulletproof and at the same time ensure that you can train to get them bolder shoulders without aggravating the rotator cuff because that's really what matters at the end of the day, right? We want to stay injury free but not hinder our ability to get jacked. Okay, so the following is how you can train your shoulders without getting hurt so you can continue to get more jacked shoulders and at the same time never get a major rotator cuff injury again. Three exercises coming from yours truly to save you from shoulder pain. Exercise number three is far and away the most important, so make sure that you stick around for that. Okay, number one is a variation of the YTWL exercise that many physical therapists prescribe to patients with shoulder issues. Except we're gonna delete the L because L is for losers <laughs> and uh, we're all winners here, right? And, uh, and we're going to use a band instead of using dumbbells which are traditionally used at PT clinics. Here is a small little video demonstration on how to do the YTW band exercise. All right, y'all, YTW exercise with the band. I apologize for the poor audio quality, assuming that is poor, but this part will be quick. So, uh, as you saw there with the Y, you want to make a Y position with the band. First of all, the band should be about eye level. Um, it could be a little bit lower, but it doesn't matter. That part, you're just doing a face pull, that's the T. And then the W here, you're just going straight back. You're focusing on external rotation. So, uh, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it seems easy enough, but it's actually pretty tough. So here's another angle, doing the Y's here, just like that. Awesome. And then after this, so you want to really try to focus on making that Y position, right? And then you're doing the uh, T here. Technically, this isn't the T with the YTWL exercise, but I like to call it a T because I'm a contrarian, whatever. So, and then the W here, focusing on external rotation, which is super, super important. And uh, yeah, just rotate through these things, these exercises. Uh, it's a little bit tougher than it looks, like I said, but um, very crucial for shoulder health. I like to do this in between sets of pressing, uh, sometimes before and after my workout. Just try to do it as often as possible. Now these should be done at least one full rotation every time you're in the gym. Uh, I like to do it as a warm up so I always get the work in and don't skip out on it. If I save it toward the end of a workout, a lot of times I just end up skipping it, so I like to do it more toward the beginning. On to exercise numero dos, the lateral raise. Now, the lateral raise itself is not going to help strengthen the rotator cuff. In fact, due to the internal rotation of the humerus uh, causing impingement of the connective tissue around the shoulder, uh, around the shoulder joint, it's often a major contributor to chronic shoulder pain that uh, bodybuilders especially experience. Well, why the fuck is it one of the exercises to improve the rotator cuff then? Here's why. You want bolder shoulders? You need to do lateral raises. Very few other ways to hit the lateral head of the delts and make your shoulders look juicy from the front and uh, just give it that overall cap look as a whole. 
So considering that some form of this exercise needs to be in your programming for optimum aesthetics, uh, I feel responsible to help educate you all on how to do them properly. Now I'm sure you see uh, a bunch of bros in your gym do this little pour the water into the glass each rep thing uh, every time they do it. Don't do that, idiots. It's no coincidence that most of these bros that do lateral raises like this, uh, maybe you're one of them, are always dealing with shoulder problems. Like I stated earlier, internal rotation of the humerus causes impingement of the rotator cuff, uh, leading to inflammation, injury, and worst case scenario, over time, uh, it could lead to a tear. What are you doing when you're pouring the water out with each rep? internal rotation. You might not feel it right now while you're doing it, but you're slowly aggravating that area more and more when you do this. Your shoulders are a ticking time bomb if you train this way. Except instead of exploding like a traditional ticking time bomb, you just get a big ouchie and get immobilized like a bitch. Why would anyone do this then if it leads to more injury? Because they're morons. Okay, for real, it's actually because you activate the lateral head uh, a little bit more this way. But dude, it's not that much more, and you will, without a doubt, run into an injury at some point if you continue to internally rotate under a load on the reg. So considering that, uh, is it worth being injured for months and months out of the year for just a few little extra gains? Uh, no, I don't think so. And the time you spent injured and immobilized, you could have done the slightly less effective method, stay injury free, and get in more volume over the long run, resulting in more gains anyway. So you end up losing regardless doing lateral raises by doing the water pouring technique. Lose-lose situation. Here's what you do instead. Keep everything neutral, except externally rotate a little bit at the top and do a nice controlled eccentric. You're still gonna build boulder shoulders and also not become an injured little bitch. Yay! Yay. Exercise number three, the most important one, the barbell overhead press. Sounds weird, I know, considering this is probably the exercise that caused you to hurt your shoulders, uh, either this or the bench, but you probably injured it doing one of these two exercises because there was already a lot of uh, damage uh, done from the shitty water pouring lateral raises, which then made the pain reveal itself while overhead pressing. But anyway, here is why the barbell overhead press is the most important exercise for shoulder health. When done properly, you activate the delt, sure, but you also strengthen all of the connective tissue within and around the shoulder joint, and most importantly, you teach your body to avoid impingement. Here's how you avoid impingement on the overhead press. Shrug up as high to the ceiling as you can as you lock out each rep. This increases the distance between the head of the humerus, uh, the humerus, sorry, and the acromion uh, doing the opposite of impinging and allowing you to completely strengthen the shoulder without pain. I swear I actually can't explain it, but I've been training for over 10 years now, and there have been times where I take the barbell overhead press out of my programming, and I almost always get a shoulder injury during that training block. It's the weirdest thing. There's something magical about this exercise, and it just prevents and helps to uh, bulletproof your rotator cuff uh, and prevent shoulder injuries. Now whether it be just ingraining a good movement pattern uh, for all other exercises involving the shoulders, uh, the rotator cuffs being strengthened in some special way from this exercise that other exercises don't do, uh, who knows? I understand this is purely kind of anecdotal, but damn, I'm telling you, you want to prevent shoulder injuries? Make damn sure you overhead press, shrug at the top, and do this on the reg, and get stronger at that movement over time. I don't think that it's a coincidence that a lot of strong overhead pressers rarely complain about uh, having shoulder problems. So, band YTW as a warm up every workout, regardless of what muscles you're training that day, the rotator cuff can pretty much be trained every single day uh, without being overtrained. So, do it as often as you can. Uh, do lateral raises without internally rotating and incorporate the barbell overhead press into your program if you haven't already. And make damn sure that you shrug to the heavens at the top of each rep. Can I get an amen? 
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated this video and you feel like you wasted your time, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're like, meh, I already knew all this stuff. This guy is kind of annoying. Dude, I totally get it. Show me how much you hate me by subscribing and hitting the bell button. If you all want a more in-depth, longer video covering the anatomy of the shoulder and the details behind what causes rotator cuff injury, pain, etc., etc., click this uh, video by my head. I don't know which one's gonna pop up at. And uh, you know, I'll see you over there. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Try these exercises out and let me know how it goes. Comment below if this helps you. I'm curious to see, so stay safe, lifting, have fun, don't get injured, and remember to do those overhead presses and shrug to the heavens. Peace out, y'all. I gotta get out of here, so uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.